Can you guess why I'm looking so cool? That's right, I'm going on vacation. This is going to be my first and the last puzzle solving video of this week since tomorrow early in the morning my family and I are going to go to Croatia. We're going to have the best time ever there since we couldn't go uh, on holiday in 2020 because of the COVID but this year finally we are going to Croatia and I'm going to have a lot of fun there. I'm going to write my subboard and go I'm going to solve a couple of puzzles. I've got this extremely difficult Revo Maze Bronze. I'm hoping I can solve it in one week time. Do you think I'm going to solve it or no? Since this one is going to be much more challenging than the Rebel Maze Blue that I solved about a year and a half ago. And probably that's going to take me much more time. That doesn't mean you're not going to see me during this week, since I have a couple of shorts videos already filmed and I'm going to post them during this week. I hope I can film a couple of shorts videos in Croatia and post them as well. I know not many people like those shorts videos, but they seem to work pretty well for my channel, if you haven't noticed. Uh, two of my shorts videos went viral and number of my subscribers uh, tripled from 17,000 to 53,000. So I'm gonna post more of these shorts videos. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's move to today's puzzle. Today I'm gonna solve the Eiffel Bur puzzle. It's a quite uh, good looking puzzle. It has difficulty level 7 out of 10 and the object is to take it apart and to assemble it again. I hope it's not gonna be too easy and I'm gonna spend um, at least 15 or 20 minutes trying to figure out the way how to solve the puzzle. If you like the Eiffel Bur puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in a video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. And now let's try to solve the Eiffel Bur puzzle. I'm going to start my stopwatch and let's see what I can do here. First of all, there are one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Four parts have this kind of brown orange color and two are black okay I can see the first move oh oh don't don't do so many moves okay think that already oh no I still can move everything back but I have to keep tracking of all the moves I don't want to spend hours trying to assemble it again oh there was a move on the other side as well but now it feels like Everything is stuck for some reason. I can't move anything else. This is stuck, this is stuck. Oh, and now I'm just moving back. Okay, I have to move forward. This goes here. This moves here. I don't know which piece I can remove first, but probably it's going to be something like this one. There are too many moves, too many moves I do with the parts. Oh, this moves to the right. Oh, that was a huge move. Okay, and what's next? Next, I think that I'm stuck. Can't move. I can move this part, can move this part. Can't remove this one. But it feels like I need just a couple of steps to remove this piece. Let's see what I can do. If I move the black part up or down, it doesn't help me at all. I have to get rid of this piece since this part is blocked by this piece now. If I remove it, I can move it one step this direction and remove probably like this. But this piece is blocked by this part. I can do it. Okay, I can move everything back, but don't think it's gonna help me. Oh, it helps. Okay, so the first piece is out. How to remove the rest of the parts? Let's see the black piece. The black piece is holding this part on this side. This piece feels like it almost ready to fall out, but nope. Oh, there is some kind of rotation here, but I don't think that rotation helps. And yeah, it feels like I'm stuck. I came all the way to the start. Okay, that is where this piece is supposed to be. But now it is out and I have to find how to, the, to remove the black piece. Ooh. Ooh. 
What? Oh, there was a rotation. Rotations usually are not allowed, but probably there is another way how to do that without performing the rotation. Oh, yeah. Ta da! -dum. The black part is out. And one, two, three. Okay, all parts are out. They are completely different. Each piece has different shape. This one is the most simple. And I have two black parts that are kind of complicated. Okay, now I think that I have to try to assemble it and it's gonna be difficult. I don't remember which piece was the first to remove. And I think that I have to put, for example, these two parts together and try to imagine which piece supposed to be where. So maybe this part was in this cutout. I can probably even stick it here. Like this. Okay, that looks nice. I have a lot of spots for the other parts. Let's see. This one. I guess it, it's supposed to be on this side. Okay, that looks good. And I have two rather complicated parts. This one. This one, where it's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be somewhere here. On this side, okay, if it is like this, then this part is gonna be somewhere here. Okay, and then this part is gonna be between these parts. And now I think that I remember that this piece was the first to remove. Okay, let's try to put this part inside and see what is gonna happen. So the black piece was the second to remove. This is supposed to be here, as I see from the shape of the other parts. Hey, something is wrong here. Okay, this goes here, this goes on the top. And this piece is supposed to be somewhere between all of these parts. Oh, but how to do it? This goes here, this goes here. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's... No. Oh, something is wrong. Something is wrong. I think that this piece is not supposed to be here. Oh, it was so nice until I, tr I tried to stick this piece in. Oh, I guess I made a mistake. This is not the piece that's supposed to be removed. First and stick first. Yeah, I think that I've made a mistake. This piece was first to remove. And this was on the opposite side. Somewhere here. Okay, so it's gonna be here, like this. And this part is supposed to go inside like this, I think. Let's see. If I am correct, I will be able to assemble almost the entire shape, except for one piece. Yeah, and the last one, this piece is going to be right here. Looks nice, looks nice. Okay. Oh, it's supposed to... No, it's supposed to be like this. Okay. Let's see if I can if I can move the rest of the parts in such a way that I can assemble the whole shape together. Okay, this goes here. This piece I can move here. Oh, that looks nice. Which, which piece is going to be the next one? I guess I have to stick this part inside somehow. Oh, I have to put this part of this piece inside of the cutout in a black piece. And that's going to be difficult, I think. I have to raise this part up. How to do that? If it is even possible. 
I have to move it here. here. Oh, oh, I think they found it. I found, I found it. Uh, but if it is supposed to be like this, oh, it's supposed to be like this. Okay. What's next? Next, I have to move some other parts and assemble everything back together. But it doesn't look easy now. Okay, this goes here. This is supposed to go up. Down here. And the last piece is this one. Oh, I think that I'm very close. Very close to solving the puzzle. Finally. Okay. That was my attempt to solve the Eiffel Boo puzzle. As always, I do the same mistake again and again. I never pay attention to which piece I remove first or which moves do I do to take the puzzle apart. And when it's time to assemble everything back together, I don't know what to do. I don't know the exact sequence of steps. I don't know which piece is supposed to go first. And that gives me a lot of problems. But to be honest, the puzzle is quite challenging because of the parts. They are a little bit loose. You can make a lot of unnecessary moves with the parts and that make it even more challenging to assemble the puzzle. Since if you want to uh, make move of uh, one piece, you have to put all other parts in a precise spot, otherwise you're not going to be able to do what you want to do. So quite challenging puzzle to solve and quite a good looking puzzle, which is going to look nice on your puzzle shelf. I don't know if there are other puzzles that look like um, famous side scenes. If you know others, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm going to buy them and solve them as well. So. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the Eiffel Boer puzzle and you want to buy it, link is going to be in the video description. And if you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe and see you next week.